You may go first if you wish. Hi, my name is Natasha. And I am Felicia. And this is our review of... Loch Ness. As in... The Loch Ness Monster. Really? From, I, I'm assuming, because look, she's that, the monster from that river that... It's like this famous tale. We're not sure if it's a myth or fact. Like in Sherbrooke. Rest, yes, the St. Laurent yeah. River. My God, do you remember no, that? No, no, it's the Missawapi River. What, whatever, but like there was something yeah, that happened. Yeah, there's a dragon thing in yeah. the, like this. in. Okay, we live in Montreal, Quebec. So what happens is there's like um, a little city about two hours away mm -hmm. called Sherbrooke. And there's the same type of monster apparently. They saw in it. In the Massawapi River. Yeah, yeah. they saw and it. The guy it was, was like, oh monster. mon dieu. You know, that's <laughs> why I word in French. Oh, where is this Loch Ness Monster? <laughs> this is actually in, um, I believe it's Scotland, I think. Scotland. Scotland? Did I pronounce it right? Scotland? Is it like that? <laughs> you know? <laughs> I think you're the Loch Ness Monster. <laughs> really? Yeah. Do you now? Well, I don't think so. In Loch Ness, players take on the role of photographers trying to take a picture of Nessie. In the box you'll find a playing board with the lake in the center, camera spots around the lake, and special actions I'll describe later. You'll get a deck of cards which represent pictures of a third of Ness's body, a deck of cards for each of the players numbered 1 to 5, a deck of neutral cards which are numbered 0 to 7, camera tokens for each of the players and a special white camera, a black pawn which is used as the first player marker, and finally player pawns and Nessie pawns, a big one and a small one. The game ends when the small Nessie passes the 65 victory points on the track around the board. Here's how to set up. Each player chooses a color and receives both photographer pawns, cards, and cameras of that color. The number 5 camera is only used in the variant, so take that one out. Place one pawn from each player at zero, including the small Nessie pawn. Shuffle all the pictures of Nessie and flip over three like so. Place the white camera on the pub action and finally place the large Nessie on any lake spot on the board. Choose a first player and you're now ready to start. The first round is a little different from all the other rounds. In the first round, the first player and the next two players will choose a card from their hand and place it face down. Now in turn order, each player will place their camera anywhere on the front spots of the camera spots face up until all cameras have been placed. Now the players reveal the three cards and total the number. The small Nessie will move that many on the score track, and the big Nessie will also move that many spaces in the lake. Now you calculate points and pictures. If Nessie is in front of your section, your camera is on, you'll move up the many points. As a bonus, if Nessie is directly in front of your camera, you also take a picture. In a three group area, you'll be able to take one photo from the three showings on the top of the deck. If you're in a section with only two groups, you get to take two photos. At the end of the game, you'll make extra victory points for completed Nessie pictures, and some for almost completed Nessie pictures. Now that the first round is completed, all their players take back their moves cards into their hands, and the next player becomes the first player. For the rest of the game, the round will now be a little different. The actions can now be used each round. The round starts the same, the first player and the next two players play a card face down. Now each player in turn order places their reporter on one of the actions on the board. We'll explain those later. Once all players have played their reporter on an action, they must move their cameras, placing them face down on any of the front camera spots available. Once all cameras are placed face down somewhere, they are flipped up again, and the three cards played are also flipped up and totaled. Both Nessie pawns advance that total once again, and the scoring is the same as before. Players keep going like this until the small Nessie passes the 65 mark. There, the players will earn bonus points for pictures, and the players with the highest becomes the legendary reporter who finally caught Nessie in action. Now to explain each ability. Bagpipes. After the players have moved the large Nessie figure and before the scoring, the player may move the large Nessie figure one C space further. However, the player may only move the Nessie figure if he moves it to a C space, which is pointed directly by one of his cameras. Pub. As soon as the player places his reporter on his action field, he takes the value 5 neutral, white, camera and places it on an empty front camera space. For this round, this camera is his camera. At the end of the round, the player puts the neutral camera back on the action field. Photoshop. 
During scoring, the value 3 camera of this player counts as a camera with the value 9. Castle. After all players have moved their cameras, the player may move another of his cameras. In addition, he may place this camera on one of the rear camera spaces. Distillery. As soon as the player places his reporter on this action field, he takes the neutral move card deck. For this round, the player sets aside his move cards and uses the card from the neutral card deck. At the end of the round, he returns the entire neutral card deck. Then he takes back his set aside move cards into his hand. Church. After the players have placed their move cards face down, the player may look at one of the three face down cards. He returns it face down and may not share the information on the card with any other player. Hotel. As soon as the player places his reporter on this action field, he immediately takes all of his move cards back into his hand. The game feels like you're playing roulette, watching something to go round and round, hoping it lands on your number. There is some pretty good player interaction as you can block other cameramen from taking your spot. The actions are a great way to add some strategy, however, some actions are more powerful than others. The production quality is really good and the artwork is perfect for the style of game. It's not a complicated game and very easy to teach. After playing your first game, you'll want to play another one since you've learned the mechanics of it. The game also has two variants, which add to replay value to the game. Whenever the small Nessie passes an auction icon, player can bid victory points to get an extra camera with the value 5 on it. This is a very nice family game and gateway game, which can also appeal to more hardcore gamers. The game is a little random, but not to the point where it ruins the game. We enjoy it and are giving it 7 clear snapshots out of 10.